So that's the matchup for the Diabetes Australia Doherty Cup Final 1995. Clash of the Titans at Olympic Park between the Melbourne Knights and South Melbourne. Let's go to all the match action. Join Voice of Authority and me at the big game. Almost uh, the final pre-season outing for these two National League or A-League clubs who commence duty in the national competition next weekend. The Melbourne Knights coming off a season when they won it all at national level and a rebuilt South Melbourne testing their uh, measure or measuring themselves against the Melbourne Knights. So some new faces out there for us to get to know and also their opposition to get to know as well, Greg. Yeah, revamped lineup for the Blues there in the all-white heading from left to right toward the river end of Olympic Park. And for the Blues this afternoon, in goal, Dean Anastasiadis. Two, Con Blatsis. Three, Con Anthopoulos. Four, Alex Kuzmanovic. Five, Steve Mangos. Six, Vaughan Coveney. Seven, Steve Panopoulos. Number eight, Mike Peterson. Nine, Paul Trimboli. 10, Michael Kersia, uh, 11, Tanzel Bazer, and on the bench, Manny Pappas, Mike Volkanis, Bill Demianos, and Sasha Nikolic. For the Melbourne Knights, who are in the red tops, white shorts, blue stockings, Frank Juric in goal, Krunoslav Razov in the number two, Fausto Diamici's number three, four is Ante Kovacevic, number five, Zoran Markovsky, six, Andrew Marth, seven, Mark Silic, 9, Joe Spiteri, 10, Lubo Lepshansky, 11, Oli Pondliak, number 14, Danny Tiado on the bench, D Damien Wojtek, Paul Magdick, and Luciano Stolica. So they are the two lineups for the 95 Doherty Cup final in the middle of this afternoon. John Fraser is attending two proceedings in, uh, as we said, is the, uh, the culmination of the Victorian season. And what a beauty it promises to be on a rather warm, in fact, a very warm Sunday afternoon in Melbourne. And the record for Doherty Cup winners, Paul Williams, for your information, uh, that uh, in the last uh, eight years, since the National League clubs returned to Doherty Cup competition after a, a three-year absence, every single Doherty Cup winner has gone on to make the finals in the same season, so perhaps some symbolism there. Lapshansky, Marth, fully fit, they say, the stabber. Tries to wrestle his way past Fawn Coveney and will earn a free kick for the Melbourne Knights heading toward the city end of Olympic Park. We've played eight minutes in this opening half, Doherty Cup final, 95. Free kick Melbourne Knights coming in via Foster Diamichis. Raking right footer, far post. The leap from Mark Danfors, Pateri, good stop from Anastasiadis. He didn't know an awful lot about it, and he's conceded the corner. But a nice, clean, incisive move from the set piece in the first real chance of the game. Far post, no one there. Kovacevic was the closest. He is the quickest to react as well as he chased the ball out wide and now South Melbourne with a chance to clear poor clearance from Baser Coveney with the header Trimboli takes over given away Diamichis nice switch of play by Fausto Diamichis to find Silic who feeds Pondoyak in here the ball comes across Lipsansky the shot Peterson to Mangos Kuzmanovic pressure from Spiteri there well, that could have been just about a free kick going the way the Knights took because uh, Kuzmanovic recognised his mistake and clearly impeded the run of Joe Spateri. Behind play, however. And look at this. There's just some shocking things going on for South Melbourne. And Lepsansky's forward. Spateri's there. Kuzmanovic is beaten. Spateri. Can score. Can he finish it off? Hesitates. Lepsansky. <laughs> Offside. The flag was up. Well, stacked grandstand here at Olympic Park for the 95 Diabetes Australia Doherty Cup final. Coveney edged out of the contest by his opposite number six, Andrew Marth, whose strength holds the ball up, plays it back. Diamichis can't collect. Tiardo edges it on. Long ball forward. Oh, Blatz is dangerous here. And what a good take. But a goalkeeper from Tanzel Baser. 
Juric threw himself very bravely at his feet. And really, Greg, South Melbourne struggling when they get in that attacking third. They just seem to be lacking totally in ideas at this stage. Knights come again. Pondeliak drags it inside. That's a good stop by Anastasiadis under intense pressure. But trouble for the Melbourne Knights. It might be Joe Spateri. He's clutching his right knee and he doesn't look good. Free kick cleared by South Melbourne. Could be a break on. Paul Trimboli. The run. Knights get back quickly. In numbers. Panopoulos knocks it in the air. Baser turns it inside. Kovacevic dangerous. Trimboli. Top of the box. Great goal. Finessed at home. Magnificent finish from Paul Trimboli from the edge of the penalty area. Did not have much time to dwell on it, but he neatly tucked it into the top corner of the net. And 36 minutes in, South Melbourne against the run of play leader in the Doherty Cup final. Long ball. Blatzis is in there. Oh, hits the post by Kersinger. And he should have scored it, no doubt about that. But the leap from Blatzis there to out-jump Frank Urich was quite astonishing. Well, Frank Urich is having a grizzle to John Fraser when the reality is that he's a bloody big bloke that was beaten in a mid-air challenge by a little bloke. And that's the way the, the game should be played. Well done, John Fraser, for letting it go. Goalkeepers get the world. And that was good to see. A fair challenge, although a question of handball, I suspect. Tiago is in. It was good to see a fair challenge and the goalkeeper awarded. Blues come again. They've got the adrenaline shot happening. Coveney through the middle. Can't control it. Swept away by Razov. Oh, giving it away. Beza stabs at it. Chance again. Gunned in from a distance by Kutschiger. A good stop by Urich, who has regained his composure to some degree. As the rain continues to dampen the surface here at the park, near post coverage by the Knights is good. Coveney. Inside for Anthopoulos. Difficult one for Frank Urich. Again, the challenge came. And he has a word. Well, look. Baser came in with the challenge, and I really don't know what Urich's problem is with that. Listen, son, you're allowed to jump in the air. You're allowed to use your arms. Every Monday morning, Teletalia brings you live coverage of the world's top soccer competition, La Serie A. Now you can join in the action and the excitement minute by minute. Simply call 1-800-651-692 now. Baggio, Signori, Viali, Mancini, Battistuta and all the stars live only on Tele Italia. Call 1-800-651-692 now for all the soccer action. Tele Italia, proud sponsor of the soccer show. Please take your rubbish home with you. Don't spoil it for others. The Bayswater Indoor Soccer Shop has a large range of English and European NSL club shirts, scarves, flags and souvenirs. Currently on sale are soccer boots and indoor soccer runners. Mention this announcement and receive 10% discount on any item in the store. Call in to the Bayswater Indoor Soccer Centre at 13 Burton Court in Bayswater or telephone 97291999. That's 97291999. Another Channel 31 sponsor. Get your message across to thousands of loyal viewers. Promote your business on Channel 31. Our sponsorship rates are very competitive. Phone our sales manager during business hours on 96505610. Whether it be a simple slide or a full-scale motion picture production, Channel 31 is the right choice. Phone 96505610 during business hours.
Half time in the Diabetes Doherty Cup final, it's South Melbourne 1, the Melbourne Knights nil, and what an unusual first half. Melbourne Knights totally dominating for the first half an hour. Andrew Marth goes off, injured Frank Magrellis, and things seem to come off the rails for the Knights. Then they had a couple of players go down hurt. Danny Tiato was down for a while, Spiteri was down, and all of a sudden the game changed, and South Melbourne really took over, and that great goal by Trimboli. Yeah, it was a fantastic start by the Knights, and really, uh, Joe Spiteri, I felt, could have put them ahead on one or two occasions. Uh, it's just coincidental that Andrew Marth limps off, and within a minute, Tremendous goal by Paul Trimboli gets South Melbourne ahead. So there's a bit of talking to do at half time now with both, both coaches. And uh, Mirko Bajic is going to be asking questions of his strikers, I believe. And of course, Andrew Marth's a focal figure, Blakey. They'll miss him in the second half. Yes, I did the homework, uh, Paul, and I understand, and this is going to be followed up, that the tragedy here that Andrew Marth may well have uh, re injured that cruciate knee injury that has caused him so many problems. Uh, his knee was fallen across now as, as we record this program. Um, there's no guarantee that he might not be out for a significant period of time, which is a great tragedy for the game because he's a terrifically inspirational skipper. Big blow for the Melbourne Knights, of course, the club captain down there as well. OK, we'll take a break and we'll be back with the second half of the Diabetes Doherty Cup. Paul Magnich, not, but not necessarily unknown. Skipper of the uh, Melbourne Knights youth team, which went all the way to the grand final last year. A player of some quality too, Paul. I'll tell you right now, is young Paulie Magditch. Well, he may get his chance to show us his quality if it keeps going like this, the way the Melbourne Knights seem to be struggling with injuries. And a good shot in there from Kursiger. Markowski, good game from him in the sweeper's role for the Knights. Did mostly bench time last season, Big Zorin, former Morwell Falcons player. Diamichis, lofts one. Switches play, grandstand side. Turn by Pondriak, start a step, goes second time for Silic. Makes the break, Mark Silic, toward the line, Mark Silic. Drags it back, and no, not a goal, off the bar. Spiteri, second chance. And it was knocked over, finally, by Vaughan Coveney, or Mick Peterson, rather, in desperation. Should have scored. After his transfer from the Parramatta Eagles. And was in the grand final lineup for the Knights last year. Good move. 1-2. Wojtek has to scramble back. Diamichis in the attacking half. Stop and go by Little Fausto. Edges it inside, Wojtek down the middle, Pondelia, good finish, great move, great finish, Damien Wojtek, big assist, Oli Pondelia, splendid finish and the Knights are back on terms. And finally the offside trap that South Melbourne have employed for most of this season to date has come unstuck and it was the pace of Pondelia that beat it and the astuteness of the pass from Damien Wojtek. Well, it was a great release from Wojtek. Timed it perfectly, didn't he? And there's uh, Taki Sphingos, the coach of Port Melbourne, looking on. Here's Razov. Poor ball from him. Coveney took over, trying to use his speed. Markovsky anticipating that particular move. Beza, tremendous ball inside to Trimboli. Here's Coveney. Just touched it wide to Peterson. White shirts all over the place here for South. Kersiger. Peterson in space. That space is closed down and he's forced to go back to Mangos. Beza. Working it onto that favoured left foot of his. He's got past Silic. Trimboli tried to touch it. Coveney. There it is. Vaughan Coveney has put South Melbourne in the lead and again it was a cross by Tanzel Beza that set up the opening critical that uh, Fausto Diamichis Coveney's on the near post Beza just behind him Coveney flick on 
And now the Knights have a chance to break with Tiato. Finds Wojtek on the right-hand side. Plenty forward for the Melbourne Knights. He's been brought down from behind. Well, Vaughan Coveney made up about 20 metres in that foot race. Silich will take the free kick. It'll chip in. Away by Blatzis. South Melbourne will push out quickly, no doubt. Lipsansky holds play up. In fact, gives the ball away. Peterson in space. Baser free on the left and Peterson's found him with a tremendous ball. Baser in the penalty area, clips it across, own goal. And Tanzel Baser can't do anything wrong today. It was Zoran Markovsky who headed past his own keeper. And you've got to feel a little bit sorry for Zoran Markovsky because Otherwise, his game has been near enough to faultless. Having said that, for Tanzel Baser, well, what a special day. For the youngster in South Melbourne, have just about wrapped it up. From Con Blutzis, gets the ball back for the Melbourne Knights. With uh, not very much time to do an awful lot. Two goals just to get back in the game. Spiteri again under pressure. Great turn again. Couldn't ask him to work harder. Trouble again. Hesitation there. Trimboli now. Can he do something? Good tackle by Kovacevic. Kovacevic it was. Plenty forward for the Knights here. Silic. They were all on his other side. Having said South Melbourne on side. Feed from Silic was a poor one, though. Billy Deminos, who's made his name as a midfielder, coming on in a striking role to take Kersage's place. Spiteri. Couldn't make the most of that. Under pressure. Curls it back inside. Good take. But South Melbourne quite measured. Now, as they know the Doherty Cup is... Back in their keeping, first time in three years. The Morwell Falcons and the Melbourne Knights have both held the trophy in recent times. And uh, another desperation tackle. Into the book then was Ante Kovacevic, it appears. So a degree of frustration being shown by the Melbourne Knights defenders Debianos to the far corner flag nice relaxed entry into the cup final for him with the Blues holding a two goal buffer stabs at that one one hand punch by the goalkeeper Demianos second effort offside flag was up very early Is again clever ball inside Demianos Trimboli free is Nikolic Demianos Trimboli the fourth goal well for a moment it appeared they might have taken one touch too many they crossed the field from left to right and from right to left and perhaps they did because it hasn't been given offside, offside. being the reason yep and Nikolic had the best opportunity to shoot Demianos miscontrol. Trimboli finally finished it off. Oh, the kids are starting to enjoy it anyway. The South Melbourne kids, that is. And that will be like turning a knife, I would think, into the Melbourne Knights, having these young, inexperienced players starting to open them up. The Melbourne Knights, Dean Anastasiadis trundles upfield for this corner. And that's just a touch of arrogance, isn't it, Paul? to see the goalkeeper even if they don't score they've rubbed salt into the wound with Anastasiadis coming up poor corner considering the big man was at the back 
Sideline ball, South Melbourne. They've got it all wrapped up. The Diabetes Australia 95 Cup Final. Doherty Cup Final. And the final whistle goes. John Fraser says it's all over in the Cup Final of 95. And South Melbourne, the young South Melbourne team, the vibrant young South Melbourne team, wins the oldest trophy in Australian domestic soccer pool. I bet you didn't know that. And what a triumph for Frank Arrock and his coaching crew. Congratulations all round there from Frank Arrock and assistant coach Andy Postacoglu. Frank Arrock with the Santa Claus like looking beard. Is this a new look for the coach as well as the team for the next season in the A-League. But they are the Doherty Cup winners and they'll go forward now to collect the trophy. Perhaps a breakthrough victory, Paul. I think you're right. I think it's setting them on the way for such a promising season. So different from this time last year when they had injuries all over the place. And Mike Peterson gets his medal. Vaughan Coveney managed another goal today. He is the buy of the season so far for South. And then come the youngsters, Anthopoulos, Panopoulos, Billy Demianos just made an appearance of substitute, as did Sasha Nikolic, Mangos and Konblatsis. Michael Kurzika. We'll see more of him without a doubt. And Tanzel Beza just kissed a man. Which I suppose is his uh, right given such a special performance today, Paul. Probably man of the match. Uh -huh. well, I hope that's not the prize. Now look at Frank Arrick. Frank Looks Arrick like gets it on the he? Look at him. He's enjoyed that one. That's the first honour he's won with the club. So special in that regard for him. And Paul Trimboli will have the honour of holding aloft the Doherty Cup. And it weighs a ton. I hope he's big enough to hang on to it. South Melbourne, Doherty Cup winners for 1995. And uh, with that, the curtain comes down on the Victorian season. And we'll leave Olympic Park with those scenes of South Melbourne's triumph. In the Diabetes Australia Doggedy Cup final of 1995, the final score once again, South Melbourne 3, the Melbourne Knights 1.